Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the power 72 in chapter 8. In this chapter, we will talk about conservation of energy. As you can see, there is a person on this slope, and then the model gave it a force Fp, right? There is a machine gave it a force Fp, and then we need to find the power for this uh, model. This machine, how can we do that? See, what is the known quantities? Mass of this person is given, angle theta is given, the friction is given, and also the d is given, the distance this person moved, and the t is given. So, you can see, how can we do that? First thing we can consider, if we want to know the power, we must consider the work, right? And because work equal to the power, times the t. Then how can you find the work by this uh, machine? And then very likely you can see we need to find this force times the d. So we can see work as a bridge to connect them. So you can see work must uh, we can do that with the f with the d, right? fp with the d. This force come from the machine, act on the person. So fp times d is work and also work can equals to P times T, agree? So there, we need to find this power. It looks like we need to find FP first. How can we do that? Do the force analysis. See, in the, we project the gravity in, into X component and a Y component, so we can get the Fn minus mg cosine theta, this is on the y component equal to zero. And on the x component, the force is also balanced. So Fp minus mg sine theta minus mu k Fn, this is friction, right, equal to zero. In this part, very easily we can get the force Fp, the machine act on the person. And then we can very easily get the work, work is Fp times d, right? And then how can you find P? P is uh, work divided by t. So in this one, we input the known, this term inside, we get the function, look like that one. Inside this function, you can say mass is given, angle theta is given, mu k is given, d is given, t is given. So you just input all the known quantities, get final answer. Thank you.